hating on my energy. Ooh, say why you hating on my energy? Say why you hating on my energy? I don't think you wanna be my enemy. Ooh, hey, why you hating on my energy? Ooh, say why you hating on my energy? Say why you hating on my energy? I don't think you. We are coming to you on this beautiful. Sir, buddy. Hopefully, it's a good week. Got the truck warming up. Should be ready to go. There we are. We grazed the truck and the trailer. Check everything over. We're gonna close the doors on the trailer. We'll be ready to uh, pull off. Get them old brakes. Add that trailer up. Doors on this trailer so we can hit the road. What's up, y'all? We are uh, under the back of my trailer, inside over uh, this is open area over the tandems. And what we are doing, we're uh, mounting a watermelon. Cause I want some underglow back here while I'm going down the road. So we got our <clears throat> bolt on bracket. We're going to clamp on. Snugged up pretty good. Hopefully, it don't go nowhere. <clears throat> Shouldn't go nowhere, right? That's what it's supposed to say when you tell it going. Now, what we do is run our wire down to the plug where we are wired in to the other lights. We'll 
splice them together and we'll be good to go. Let's uh, let's go get our wire strippers. I didn't bring them up on here. We're wiring. Hopefully, we're doing it right. Trying to do it right. go up a bigger size on my uh butt connector but if I do that I won't have a big enough wire on the other side so I'm trying to make these ones work finished product as of right now for our watermelon underglow back here in the back now I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like at night hopefully it gives us enough projection down on the ground that way and give us a decent amount of glow we'll see all right it ain't quite dark yet but 
let's go back here and see what see what we see so we got these right here which i've been procrastinating i got my brackets here and over there to put two more here shining down but you know these light up pretty good at night so hopefully which you can see a little bit of light right there I mean it's pretty bright up under there but what I'm going for is that light at night right there I believe that's gonna look pretty good. We'll wait till it gets a little darker and see what it looks like. But hey, I like that. See what my little sloth friend thinks. I breathe. I believe he's approved. Yeah, yeah. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But um. Uh, I get another shot when it gets dark. All right, y'all. <clears throat> it's dark. Let's see what this thing look like back here. You know what? I can get jiggy with that. Mm-hmm. Going down the highway. That's gonna look real nice. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's go over here. See what it looks like. Now I don't have to let me turn the lights on on the side of the trailer. Let's cut them on. Not bad. Not bad at all. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Y'all like it? Should I get a bracket that goes straight out so it's pointing straight down or we'll leave it the way it is? And just gonna put my two up front. But that's not bad. Not bad at all. Kinda illuminates up under there. Yes, sir. Mighty fine, mighty fine. Well, yeah, once I put those two up here, all this gonna be lit up out here. I think it's gonna look real good. Uh, I don't know, I may try to get it done before, before mats. So when I go up there, I can be lit up. Truck won't be polished up or nothing, but at least it'll be lit up looking good. Well, we've been sitting up here for X amount of hours. Now we finally just bagged in under the bin to get loaded. <clears throat> Ain't no sense of doggone keeping up with my detention time because last time I was here I had like five hours didn't get paid a dime for it I don't even
even know why they I don't know but main thing we getting loaded now and at least we got our watermelon light on well we're loaded got the weight in the wagon Now we get to ride out. Shit, we can't light up the highway. Gonna grab something to eat. Be in that. The only food, real food that I had today was some bacon, eggs, and toast that my wife cooked me this morning before I left the house. We hungry. Good morning, everybody. We are fishing to go check in at our delivery. That was a truck in front of us we woke up he was gone so he's checked in probably sitting around back hadn't unloaded yet but we gotta go over here we are on the scale and we go over here and uh, check in, give them our paperwork. See who's coming out of the... Oh, I thought somebody was coming out of that door. They were just going by. Walk over here to the loading dock. Oh, up the stairs, look to the left, nobody. So we'll ring this bell and we'll. Morning, how you doing? Good. You got your last move? No, I'm forgetting. Yeah, let me go. Let me go grab it right quick. What now? So I'm also gonna need your load number. It's not on here. I can give you that, man. All right, peeps. We got our paperwork. Safety rules sheet that you have to sign every time. And I haven't been here plenty of times, and I forgot to give them a previous. So I had to run back to the truck and grab it. But we'll be going down that way beautiful even though it's cloudy pretty uh sunrise a little bit that i can see over that uh, building but i ran back to the truck and back up to the dock so i didn't got my blood circulating and my exercise in this morning back yeah that truck that was in front of us he's still sitting right there they ain't came and got him yet still sitting right there but we gonna hang out right here till he pull up I don't know if they gonna take a sample or not but ain't no sense of pulling behind him and and block the other entrance if a um, if a tanker comes in. But we'll sit and wait, right? They fixing to probe him like an alien. Nah, they'll stick that down in the product, and it'll uh, 
suck some up and go up down the, through the little tube and into the office. They, that's how they pull a sample. They'll do that a few times and get a sample and you know they test it. I'll pull them off and they'll go and load.
all loaded and this is my heaviest load to date um, my paperwork here got my paperwork here uh, but yeah heaviest load to date X amount of pounds tons in the trailer all back roads let's go with my little eye a friend of mine in the corner back here but first Jesse James him and his wife just redid this truck and shortly after he had a deal had to replace the bumper see where it cracked his fender um uh, his quarter fender off like three weeks after getting it back on the road from painting it and everything okay I do like those first time seeing Dane's um, acrylic in person on the uh, quarter fenders those are a nice touch
here today. Oh, now. Let me uh, go grab my phone and, and call Jesse and see where he hiding at. And we're gonna go take a shower. We out here with Mr. John.
it. Finally. One hurt me if I don't never come back to this place. Ram a bump in the ground. Trying to get back there. Too low. I mean no sense. They, they expect our trucks to be off-road monster trucks. That's a cool old crane though. Good night. Good. We are back here at the 75. So I'm going to get me something to eat. I am hungry. Could have rode on up the road and got something, but it's been a minute and I've been craving IHOP. Don't fill my belly with this IHOP. bent my bumper getting this load that I got in the wagon. Ken's going to pull up and straighten my bumper out. We're going. I ain't hung out with Ken in uh, about a year and a half. So I get to hang out with him this evening. gonna use his ICC bar straighten my bumper out. 